All right. Well, well, well. How's everybody doing? I am doing quite well. I have a, in front of me a Stella Artois, which is probably not good for my health. But I digress. <laughs> mm. And today I want to talk about a topic that has been making me mad. Or not mad, but, you know, it's been at the forefront of what I've been thinking about. And it's split screen. Yeah, a dead topic that used to be popular and now doesn't matter at all. Um, so as I do that, I'm also going to be playing some Black Ops to reminisce. Um, but I'm going to be playing a uh, combat training mode. I don't know if you remember this mode. This mode was sick. This, uh, it was basically had the same progression as the multiplayer had. It just, you could do it against bots. So that was pretty sick, pretty dope. Um, so I think what I want to play on first here, we'll do firing range. One of the greatest maps of all time. So I'm talking about this topic today because I used to play split screen all the time as a kid. And it was definitely something that meant a lot to me. All right, this is loud. So we got to adjust this for me. Like split screen was a huge deal because as a kid, like, I feel like you're playing split screen because like you're connecting with people and it was a lot harder. Like, at least for me growing up, not everyone had an Xbox. So it was like, okay, if you had an Xbox, you definitely brought something to the table, you know, cause you like, you were a meeting ground for people, you know, you weren't, um, that is not, <laughs> that's not it. There it is. Also, something cool about this uh, mode was with this uh, specific game mode, the practice range, you, all the, the bots have the names of people in your friends list. So watch, I'll kill someone here. If someone shows up, of course no one shows up. Yep, see, Miss Squizzy, that's uh, my sister. But anyway, you had an Xbox, you were a, a real person, basically. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Some of the first games we had were split screen. We played on PC when we were little because we didn't like have enough money or whatever to get like a fancy Xbox. But I remember playing Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. Goaded game, by the way. But we would play that. My sister and I would play that and we'd sit in the same chair. We were so little. And we would play this game split screen for whatever reason on PC it let you play split screen. Oh, you got me. There was a mode where like you could play as the cop and you could play as like a regular guy. And so the game mode was basically like, okay, if you drive, if you drive like three laps around this map and not get captured by the cop dude, you win. So pretty sick. How we would play it, we would play it where we would go the opposite way. Like we wouldn't go the correct way. He'd always say like, you're going the wrong way. So we could just keep going like endlessly in circles. It was super fun. Oh, I hate last stand so much. It was super fun and we would like lay down spike strips and all sorts of stuff. But yeah, we would, we would play that mode forever. Split screen. We wouldn't have nearly as much fun if it wasn't split screen. So I guess what I'm trying to say is like, I wonder what's happened to split screen. Some of my best memories were just playing split screen with my friends, staying up really late. You know, what happened to it? And I, and I know the correct answer, which is basically games kind of focused on fun but now they're more moving toward money I, I wonder if what I'm like complaining about because this is kind of complaining I wonder if what I'm complaining about more is like more mainstream games now aren't split screen because for like the early 2010 era the mainstream games were split screen Halo, Call of Duty, Gears of War like all these like mainstream shooting games you could play with your friends at people's houses like 2v2 Rust, 1v1 Rust, you know, or whatever, or 2v2 Last Resort, 1v1, like, it was just fun, like, going to friends' houses, and, like, I'm friends today with, like, my best friend growing up, I, I truly believe if there wasn't split screen, we probably wouldn't be friends, right? That's, like, some of our greatest memories. Like, I remember, and this is kind of just, like, a tangent, it has nothing to do with split screen, really, but we were playing zombies all the time, like, Black Ops Zombies. I truthfully didn't know like what happened once you got to like the double digits because <laughs> that was the worst because like we got the highest we got to was like round seven 
And I was like, what happens when you hit higher rounds? Why did I think someone was there? I was like, what happens when you when you hit higher rounds? D does the screen just fill with like all these lines? Because it would use um, I don't know what that's called. There's there's like a mathematic thing where you like four lines and then throw a line through it, and that's like five. You know you know whatever like prisoners do like people in hacks, hacksaw ridge, uh, Shawshank Redemption. You know, like they would mark your days in prison like that. I digress. Split screen was awesome, and I do feel like the mainstream games are realizing that. There's a lot of money to be had in this medium. And like 10, 15 years ago, if you asked someone, hey, do you play games? Depending on who's asking them that question, they'd say yes or no, because people realized back then, like this is kind of a niche or like you don't brag about it. I feel like nowadays, like everyone plays video games or at least there's not like a stigma toward it. But I feel like when I was growing up, there was a stigma, heavy stigma to playing video games. Dude, this game is just so much freaking fun. Dude, this game just brings back so many memories. This game's awesome. <laughs> what a great last kill. I miss when the, <laughs> the freaking last kills were just so lame. You know, now it's usually like the play of the game is the focus. Which is probably uh, overwhelmingly a better system. I still have fun with the crappy, <laughs> the crappy kills. But yeah, I guess... Like, split screen used to be, like, a super important part of our childhood, of our life, or at least of mine. And so it is kind of, I don't know, kind of sad to see it go. And I know for a long time it was kind of a, kind of talked about, like, I remember seeing all over YouTube people, like, complaining about, I think it was um, Halo, when Halo promised to have it, or, like, it was Halo Infinite, I remember, and they were like... Bro, Halo Infinite's gonna have split screen. And then that was in like development hell for so long, and that was one of the things left on the cutting room floor. I remember people being pissed about that. But Call of Duty forsook split screen a long time ago, unfortunately. Well, it was weird because Black Ops 3 had split screen. I don't remember if Black Ops 4 did. I never had Black Ops 4. Ghost, I think, had two player split screen, at least, because I had it on 360. I didn't have a one for a long time. It might have been Infinite that was the first to nix it, or no, maybe Infinite did have it. I, see, I'm, I'm a little lost because there's like a, a point where I stopped playing Call of Duty. Um, it was like around the Black Ops 3 t time, like I stopped. But I picked up World War II, and that had split screen, I remember. Um, it had just two player, it got rid of the four player. And that was kind of the start. And it's weird because I remember being a kid and being like, bro, split screen, we can have four player. And this is like a dumb kid view of this. But I'd be like, bro, right now on a 360, we can play four player split screen. Dude, he pre fired me. That sucks. You, <laughs> you, you could have four player split screen right now. Imagine in the future when, when technology is better, we'll have eight player split screen. Little did I know we'll have one player split screen. And like, people are focused on the graphics, right? Like, because that's the, the argument I've always heard is like, hey, uh, freaking last stand, dude. F you, bro. F you. <laughs> I look like a freaking pedo. The argument has been, well, games are so technologically advanced right now. They look so good and they've got 4K textures. Therefore, it'd be hard to import to, uh, to four-player split screen. Bro, have you seen how good Black Ops 2 used to look on 360? Like, have you, have you like, sat down and, and played that game on 360? That game, okay, it wasn't, like, 4K or anything, but, like, look how clean that game looks. Black Ops 2. I can't hit shit. <laughs> look, look at Black Ops 2, bro. That game looks incredible, and they still had four-player split screen. And that was like, what, 12 years ago? Dude. I suck. I think they just slowed down the bot's aiming. Because he was shooting me, and he wasn't even aiming at me. So I think, like, the higher difficulty means they just aim quicker. Which is a simple thing to run. Oh, dude, look at this. I don't need 4K textures. Can't even do that in modern Call of Duty. Yeah, the argument has been like the, the games are too demanding. Like hardware isn't ready to handle that. Bro, in 2000, what was it? 2000, 2001 when uh, Combat Evolved came out? Bro, they were they were playing four player split screen then. I don't think it's an argument of the, the hardware can't handle it. I think it's an argument of just developers don't prioritize split screen anymore. Why? Well, if like you follow any anything with gaming, like it takes years at least 
for the quality and like the stuff they pump out now to like make a game playable, especially with like the thousands or hundreds or whatever. However many people are developing a video game, like if you look at a behemoth like Call of Duty, most of the time they're going to need a campaign, they're going to need multiplayer, some like third mode, <laughs> some, some mode, you know, but it takes a lot of work and a lot of effort to get that out and it's still crap like when it comes out and it's fixed seven months later. So why on earth would they take their developers and make... Like, take people away from that to focus on split screen when all their money is from the cosmetics and from all these other things that... You're not going to get value from split screen as a developer or as a business. Like, think about it. You're not. Like, where's the money coming from? Dude, throw that at me. I don't know how to throw my... Oh, yeah, you can lean on PC. Bro, I got him. There's no money for a developer. Like, why, why on earth would you put work and put people involved with that? Dude, please. Recoil control, brother. No value. Now, granted, there are things like the Switch, right? That are outliers. Um, I think Nintendo cares about that, or at least... Or at least, like, the developers who do stuff. And I'm sure there's other ones, like, where there is split screen. Dude, how are those not hits? It is kind of like me just ranting, but also realizing split screen is kind of a thing of the past. And, like, it's kind of sad, honestly. Like... Kids nowadays don't get it, bro. They just don't. They're like, oh, like, everyone has an Xbox. Why'd I reload? He has last stand. Everyone has an Xbox, or everyone, like, can play with their friends now. But when I was a kid, it wasn't that way. Not everyone had an Xbox. And because of that, you had to go to their house and play split screen. Or even if everyone did have an Xbox, and you all just hanging out playing split screen together, it was just so much fun. I remember there was, like, split screen hacks I used to do. Um, so for Halo Firefight, Halo Reach Firefight, come back here. Oh. But for Halo Reach Firefight, you can only play two player split screen, but there was a hack. Dude, why would they make a window jump where you can jump out but you die? But there was a hack you could do, or I say hack, but I guess it was kind of a hack. You get your filthy paws away from that. Oh, counter spy plane. Perfect. Oh, give me the Olympia. But there was a hack where you could straight up get four players to play. You had to delete. I think there was like a an update you had to delete. But then, um, so you'd sign your two controllers in. You'd start Firefight. And then once you get into Firefight, you sign, you turn on a controller and sign someone in. Right? You can, I think you could turn them on beforehand, but you couldn't sign them in. But So you have to, the prerequisite is you have to sign them in when you're in, when you're in the game. Right? Sign them in. Why do I get points for that? And then once they're signed in, you exit out and you start the game again and it'll count down. Be three, two, one, beep. And it'll do that, right? That's how Halo always worked. But after the beep, you wait exactly one second and then you press A on that new controller. And so what would happen would be three, two, one, beep, A. And if you did it correctly, which a lot, sometimes I'd sit there for like 20 minutes doing it incorrectly. But if you did it correctly, the game would start and there'd be a third person there. Now, if you wanted to have four, you have to do that, but you can't press them at the same time. You have to press them after the one second mark, but slightly off from each other, and that's the only way to get it to work. Right? And I remember if you got it wrong, you would have to... You would have to sit there and unsign them all out again and do it again. Oh, man, he's gonna get my stuff. Oh, it's just more ammo. I'm not gonna worry about it. But if you did it right... You can play four players split screen for freaking Halo Reach Firefight. It was awesome. I did that so often with my friends. Same thing with Black Ops Zombies. Black Ops Zombies did not allow you to play four players. It did not. It allowed you to play two. But there was a little reach around you could do. You had to go to the Black Ops uh, Dead Ops Arcade thing. Um, so if you didn't have that unlocked, you had to type in the cheat. Um, but if you beat the campaign... You were fine. But basically, you could play four-player split-screen zombies. There's another, like, I think you had to delete another freaking update. But you had to... I, I can't remember exactly how to do that one. That one always I had to look up. I think you just basically, like, sign sign everyone in for Dead Ops Arcade, exit out, and then start up zombies, and you'd have four. But, like, those things were dope, you know? Like, I remember just doing that as a kid and how much fun that was. But, like, now, you don't have that. You just all play on your own. And... Is it better? I think in ways it is better, obviously. Like, 
I can still play with my friends because we can play online or my friend I would say I don't have a lot of friends who play games I have like one that I consistently play with but is it consistent is it like better to have it this way I think it is nice to have it this way because now like I can be older I can play this game with people but there's nothing like the era of split screen dude it was just so good I don't know what y'all think tell me what y'all think down in the comments or wherever you want to say because I maybe it's just me you know maybe I'm looking at this rose tinted glasses but I do remember it just being really awesome and I kind of just feel bad like not a lot of people are gonna grow up with that um but I mean I'm sure there are games still with split screen that do it um I just haven't really been in that scene I just I just remember that being so cool as a kid being able to play split screen games and being able to um just hang out with friends like right next to each other and how fun that is so i don't know those are kind of my thoughts on it right now i'm sure i have more thoughts i just i'm just reminiscing Ooh, weapon camo we gotta check this out camo dude look at all these you just get them you just bought them back classified i think it's gold could be wrong. <laughs> Black Ops 2 officially revealed. Awesome. I just... There's just something really cool. And even just firing this game up. Just looking back on it. Like, look at this. Look how freaking simple this menu is. There's just a bunch of empty space over here. I don't know why. Um, I guess it shows the map. The menus. Look, Just look at them, bro. You know exactly what... <laughs> you know exactly what you're looking at. It's not a menu within a menu within a menu. Like... Bam, player card. Now this is all my player card stuff. I want to create a class. Bam, here's my classes. Instantly available. I know it's... Okay, this has turned into a rant, but I guess what I'm just saying is... <sighs> simpler times, dude. I feel like games really did prioritize fun. Because, like, it was like, okay, I want as many people to play our game as possible. So, we're of course, we're going to include split screen. That's the most fun thing we could do. Right? Of course, we're going to take time to implement that as developers and take time to code that in and build our framework around it. Sure, maybe it's not going to have the peak graphics, but even even that argument doesn't make sense because at, at the time when Halo 4 came out, it was like regarded as one of the best looking games on the Xbox 360. It may still be considered one of the best looking besides like GTA 5 or whatever, but that game had four players split screen and it was dope. That game ran well. Whatever you thought of Halo 4 doesn't matter. That game ran well. It was awesome. And I miss that. I miss that split screen. But now it's like, okay, a game. Why is a game made? At least by the big boys now. It's it's made not so, hey, I want as many people to play this game as possible. And if and if four of you can play it in one spot, that's going to be awesome. Because now we can have these like LAN parties and everyone can play together. Oh, you want to play online together too? Sure, split screen online. That's awesome. Nowadays, you don't get that. What do you get? A thousand cosmetics or a thousand messages for you to buy and spend money. Do this, do that, do that. It's just, I don't know. It's like, it's palpable how annoying it is to me when I fire up a AAA game. It, it really is. Like, when you look at this right now, does this look like a AAA game? No. Not really. It almost looks like a Call of Duty knockoff, right? I mean, we have create a class, all these things like... Come on, let's be honest. Like, if you didn't know what Black Ops was at all, this this basically looks like just a indie game, right? And and obviously that's that's dumb to like compare it to a 15 year old or how old this game is now, 13 years, whatever. It's it's dumb to be like, oh, this looks like an indie game now. It's an old game. Like this this was kind of pioneering this idea of a arena shooter and all that. But it's just it shows you like simple is better like i just feel like now maybe it's not better from a money standpoint and that that is what's hard because you have to realize these people are there to make money but i feel like it's just this greedy idea of like i want money and now it's like it's gonna dig itself a hole right like the new call of duty how it how it acts and everything and the system of like buying cosmetics and just copying fortnite i feel like it, it's gonna dig itself into a grave where people are who once loved their game despise it and maybe the numbers are lying. Maybe the numbers are saying like, oh no, they're, they're doing successful and maybe I'm completely wrong. But I guess what I'm trying to say is like, slowly the focus is turning away from fun 
and it's been that way for a long time now. Like, this isn't anything new. Me saying, oh, split screen used to be fun and games used to care about being fun. That's not new. Like, this is an old, probably like five-year-old <laughs> argument now, but I've just been thinking about Call of Duty a lot and like how, how much fun I had as a kid playing it. And there's like this disconnect now when I play it where I'm like, this used to be fun. What happened? And I can go back and play against freaking bots and have fun. I'm having fun right now, dude. This is fun. Shooting bots. Heck, I'm going to do it again. Let's do some freaking Nuketown, brother. Team Deathmatch, I guess. But what I'm saying is like, dude, games have gone away from fun and I think it's going to gonna pay the price. And I think a lot of new games that are coming out, like um, Out of Action, I think it's called, like that is like a game I'm actually excited for. And the game looks incredible. And it kind of does remind me of like an arena shooter. And like, oh dude, do you see the light? Look at that. The shadows disappear. It's weird. Oh! He got me. Dude, everyone's dead. Let's see what he's done to his Galil. Oh, Master Key? <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. What do y'all think? Am I just yelling at the sky? Am I just the clown yelling at Sky? Yeah, let's try the FAMAS. Dude, that pistol's dope. Go. Dude, that reload is tight. Oh man. What am I looking at? So yeah, there's my rant for split screen. Bring it back, devs. Please, I will buy so many COD cosmetics. That's what I deserve, dude. There's my other gun, this one. I like the silencer in this game. Dude, how many RCSDs are there, bro? You killed my friend. I don't remember what those things do. Are they like spawn protection? Or are they just freaking cameras? They were trying a lot of new things in this Call of Duty. Oh dude, I could not switch to pistol. So yeah, I guess I'll just finish off here and just finish this round, but... Let me know guys. Tell me what you think. Do you miss split screen? Was split screen a joke? Do you think I'm gay? Ask those questions in the comments. Dude, those were fun. Nice reload animation. Just puts him behind his back. Let's see the range. Bad range. Not good. Let's try a sniper. I was sniping in this game. Terrible, if I recall. Because I had this, like, thing where... Yeah, like... You see how it's centered differently every time I zoom in? Like, right now it's below that. Do it again. Now it's to the right. But you could time it. It's in the middle right now. I look again. It's in the middle. You could time it. I think they just didn't. Oh yeah, I forgot too. You would zoom in and shoot. But if you did it too quick, the bullet would not go where you're aiming. See that? I was aiming right there and the bullet went there. See that? So yeah, they were trying to nerf it. They tried nerfing sniping. Didn't work. Come back here, don't shoot my friends. Oh well. Pistol kills time. Shoot pistols. What was the best pistol in this game, dude? I don't remember. Oh man, I had no ammo. Dude, double rainbow. So there's my rant, guys. All right, we won. That's what matters. Dude, he got hurt before a shot. That's wild. Love this game. 
So yeah, have a good day. Let me know what you think. Bye.